of this tragic incident, we wanted to find out what you should know about senior living facilities and how you should choose one. 23 ABC's Amanda Gomez did some digging. She's in our newsroom tonight with what one local advocate for the elderly has to say. Amanda? Well, Todd, the director for Kern County's long-term care program says it's best for families to shop around and, of course, make sure you do your research. Family members oftentimes fail to ask very specific questions. You know, sometimes they get impressed with how the place looks like and then they forget to get to the real important things. Nona Tolentino is the program director for Kern County's long-term care ombudsman program. That's a program that provides advocates for people living in elderly facilities. She says there are three types of facilities. One is independent living, which is similar to an apartment. That means residents are living in their own room with no supervision at night. That's the type of facility Lorraine Bayless was living in. And that's probably something that's pretty scary when you know that you could probably be needing their help at any point in time. The second is assisted living. In assisted living, staff will check on residents every two to four hours. And the third is a nursing home where staff are on hand 24 hours a day. We wanted to find out how another senior living center might respond to an emergency similar to the one at Glenwood Gardens. Ellen Renner with Rosewood Senior Living says unless instructed not to help, they will. We have a number of people who are certified, of course, but even those of us who've had some training and aren't certified, we're protected through the Good Samaritan Law, and that enables us to give it a try if we can. Glenwood Gardens didn't perform CPR on Bayless because they were following protocol. We asked Tolentino what she thought about that. In most instances, since you are calling for help, the assumption is that you would then execute what the paramedics are asking you to do. They might have been thinking about liability issues more than anything else. And in every case, once you choose the facility, it's always best to make sure you have your loved one. Loved one, fill out a DNR form, do not resuscitate form, just in case of an emergency. Live in the newsroom, Amanda Gomez, 23 ABC. All right, let's check.